it was a warm welcome for tennis fans on the Portuguese Riviera on a Millennium Estoril Open quarterfinals day featuring the top four seeds. Once the final preparations were taken care of, defending champion Nicolas Almagro went up against the top seed Pablo Carreño Busta in tricky, blustery conditions in what was a repeat of the 2016 final. Going for a fifth ATP semi-final already this season, it was Karenia Buster who mastered the challenging, swirling wind early on. He raced through the first set 6-2 in just 23 minutes before Almagro began to tidy up his game, which helped him break back for 3-all in the second. Karenia Buster, though, is made of stern stuff and he quickly got back to the business of disciplined clay court tennis. He broke again at 4-all and in the next game produced the shot of the match. And after an hour and 10 minutes, he stood at match point. Into yet another semi-final with a 6-2, 6-4 victory. I play a lot, a lot of matches, a lot of tough matches, so I think I'm the best player like, than, last, than, like, uh, than last year. My serve is, is better, I play with a lot of, with a lot of fair service, that's important uh, with these conditions. And finally, Nico was playing good uh, this tournament, but I think today maybe was not uh, his best match. The testing weather conditions continued for the second quarter-final of the day and it was the fourth seed David Ferrer and American Ryan Harrison who were next on court with the winner facing Karenia Buster in the last four. Ferrer wasted no time stamping his authority on the contest. Every department of the Spaniards game was in fine working order. He took the first set 6-4 and made sure he maintained his domination with an early break in the second. And thereafter it became one-way traffic as Ferrer's tennis simply got better and better. Former world number three booked his place in his first semi-final of the year with a 6-4, 6-love victory, but said afterwards that he'll need to raise his game further still to challenge countryman Karenio Busta on Saturday. Well, Pablo is, uh, is improving every year his, his game. He's a young player, uh, he has a very good shot, uh, way power, and he's very complete. Uh, so, well, tomorrow it's going to be tough. He's playing his best uh, tennis in, in his career, and, and well, uh, tomorrow we'll see.